Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my bedroom. I just did a series about decluttering this room, but it was like my eighth time decluttering it, so it's not like a big massive declutter, but it was very important that I did it to get it to where it is now. So I just wanted to give you a nice overview of everything that's in here and talk a little bit about my approach to minimalism. Like I said in the other video series, if you watched it, there's no strict definition on what it means to be a minimalist. You don't have to own like X amount of things to be considered a minimalist. It's just being surrounded by the things that really bring value to your life, not having anything that you don't need or anything that you don't use. And that's what I've done in here. And I think that my approach to minimalism, my thoughts about it, may be a little bit more inviting to people who are afraid that minimalism means like bare white walls and only having one pair of shoes and like just having you know no things at all and that's not true let me show you my room and since i don't have that many things i can really kind of go into depth about what they all are and why i kept them here we go so when you enter the room this is what you see on this wall here as you can see, I have some artwork, some frame pieces. It's a painting I did a while back. It does mean a lot to me. Um, I worked on it for like, I don't know how long, several months though. Um, not that it would take me that long to paint it. It was just like, I would only have time to paint a little bit at a time over a long period of time. So we've been through a lot together. Um, this Dracula print I love, I actually found it in a calendar long time ago when I was being recruited by art schools they sent me a calendar from Ringling to try to convince me to apply for their school. Um, down here in this frame this is a pattern actually so like a dress pattern um, this was the cover of it it's like a vintage pattern I got this from school it was actually gonna get thrown away and I just loved it and felt sort of strange connection to it. Mirror. It's just from Walmart. Um, this I got from a historical village and I love that it's about fruit. Um, I am a vegan. My family calls me fruit bat. I love fruit. Um, and this is actually my most recently acquired object. Um, I already had this frame so I didn't go out of my way to get anything for it. This is actually a card that I got from my grandmother on my birthday. It says time spent with a cat is never wasted. And I just thought that was really, really cute. And then I have a Halzoon Castle I have a Halzoon Castle poster there in a frame. I do take really good care of my posters and make sure that they're nicely framed and stuff and not just tacked onto the wall. Um, I definitely used to do that, and I think that it, you know, it classes up the joint <laughs> to have a frame. Um, on the wall, I've put some nails, just four nails on either side of the mirror, and that's where I hold all of my necklaces. Here in this corner on my dresser, and I did try to dust, but you know, when you have lots of animals and lots of animal hair, it just kind of arrives in places. Um, back here, I don't know, I feel like once I stick him to the dashboard, he's kind of stuck to the car and I won't ever be able to put him anywhere else. Um, and then I have this skeleton hand, it's holding rings. And I have this Haunted Mansion box back here and it's full of bracelets. And then I have my sunglasses here. And I only have one pair of sunglasses. So, as you'll see with the necklaces and with the jewelry there, this whole area is like getting ready kind of a thing. I do film my videos from my uh, drag and art and queer channel here, so I need all this stuff accessible. Um, here is like an heirloom dish that was given to me. I keep in it some safety pins on my watch. And this box is also a gift. And it's also covered in cat hair. Sorry. <laughs> and inside are all of my plugs. I have a black cat dish with pins in it. 
Um, some of these pins are for Pride, some are for vegan festivals, some are for cons. Um, and then I have a Lucky Cat that I've had for ever. I've had it since I was a kid. It means a lot to me. And this is all sitting on top of my dresser where I keep a lot of my clothes, a lot of my costume stuff, some of my packing stuff for when I ship things. All right, now over to this side of the room, I have a Post Malone print from a friend on YouTube name is Chibi Panda. And I have Creature from the Black Lagoon poster. I have this print, I think it's called It's a Mad Mad World. Um, I've had it for many, many years. Frankenstein poster and Dracula poster all the way over there. I have a little baby nightstand. Inside here is the supplements that I take um, on a daily basis, anything that I would sort of need to reach for my bed, some electronic stuff. And I have a planner down there, that's where I write down what I do every day. I have a little tiny vase, it's actually a potion bottle from like Michael's Halloween and I have some black roses in it and a pride flag at my most recent play. pride. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I have a little Abraham Lincoln bust. It was a gift. That's my swell bottle. It's not usually there, but since I'm in here for the next couple hours making videos, I need to keep my water with me. <laughs> I have that little bin down here. It's also filled with some more um, body jewelry and electronic stuff. This, even though it might be blasphemy, I do keep my iPad and laptop plugged in and then sort of sitting on their sides like that. And down here, that's the only thing I have under my bed. It's a place where I charge all of my stuff and then I keep that cable wrapped around that drawer for my phone. And I try to keep it very clean and not cluttered there because I don't like the look of a bunch of wires kind of heaped up in one place. And I don't have a desk, so that's really the best that I can do. On my bed here, I have two piggy bank figures. Um, I used to have, gosh, I don't know, at least 50 to 75 figures, and these are the only two that I kept. So I've got Creature of the Black Lagoon and Frankenstein's Monster. Here is my bed. Um, let's see, the bedding is from Pillow Fort, and same with that sort of fluffy pillow there. And then down here, this is a weighted blanket that my mom actually made for me. Let's see. All right, over here, I have a bookshelf. If you saw my previous minimalism videos, or maybe if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see how many books I used to own, how many objects and decorations and things. So this is significantly, significantly cut down. I only have things here that mean a lot to me. So I have a mink skull there. I only, um partake in vegan taxidermy, by the way, so I'm not buying anything that someone hunted in order to get um, something from it, you know, it was already found dead. I have this box, I made this box a long time ago, it has like a Ouija board print on top, and inside are all my essential oils. This is my essential oil diffuser. This is a bundle of sage that my grandmother burned and wrapped and sent to me to cleanse this house I'm in. This is a snow globe and it plays The Witch is Dead and I've had it since I was a kid. This is like this old tiny kooky little bottle of glycerin that was a gift um, for my grandmother. She actually just wanted me to use the glycerin for makeup but I like the bottle a lot. And down here on this shelf in the back is a very old doll that was passed down to me. I have this little Campbell soup container also passed down to me. My last name is Campbell, so we value Campbell's merchandise a lot here. <laughs> I have a Ripley's Believe It or Not card set. This is a gift from my sister. I love cards, and even more, I love Ripley's. And I have a little sheet figure here with blood on it. My dad actually um, painted this for me in honor of one of my favorite movies of all time, Black Sheep. Alright, I've got some books there. I have a jar. Alright, so I've got one of these display jar things. I forgot what it was called, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just like a Halloween decor. 
item and inside is a pretty realistic, at least feeling tarantula. It's actually kind of like um, rubbery and fluid. I've got some more books. I've got a black skull. More books. I have a mug here my friend painted for me. It says Gojira on one side and then has like little bubbling Godzilla out of the water. And inside are a couple keychains that I value. This is backwards, so it means the kids were playing with it. <laughs> More books. Um, this was like a little planter, but the plant was like super glued in there when I bought it and it died unfortunately only after having it for a couple weeks. Oh gosh. So I want to try to put in either like another little baby plant in there or find a nice fake one to put in there. And then back there is a little gnome. It's like a Norsk guardian gnome because it's against the window. It's going to be not great lighting, but these are Tibetan prayer flags. And down here, this is a cedar chest. It has been painted black. I keep a blanket on top so my cat doesn't scratch it up when she's getting into her bed. Inside of this chest is all my wig supplies, so there's several wig heads in there, and my wigs are on them. And then in this bottom drawer, I have um, hair ties and brushes and things. And I have a framed Spirited Away poster. And on this wall are my closet doors. It's actually one closet. It's connected in the middle. It just has two separate entrances. And I have a Studio Ghibli clock. Or Ghibli, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I will give you a little peek into the closet, but I'm wondering if I should do a separate closet tour. I definitely want to do a minimalist wardrobe tour. Like, that's all my hanging clothes. So yeah, for the most part, that's everything I own. That's everything that's meaningful to me that I want to be surrounded with. In my closet, there are some boxes where I kept previous apartment stuff and future house stuff. I'm actually working on saving up and building my own tiny house soon. I already have the plans for it. I'm like super pumped about it. I just have to get enough money to get it started, you know? So everything that's in here and all the stuff that I have saved in my closet is going to be dispersed over an entire house and I can't wait to see how clean and spacious and nice that that will look. So definitely follow me if you want to watch the build of that house, it will be in the future sometime. And let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see or would like me to talk about and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.